Tommy, our first chance to catch up after Saturday's defeat. It was a strange one, wasn't it? A quite a dominant performance, especially in that second half going forward for the shots, but we just couldn't find the back of the net and ultimately found ourselves on the wrong end of a 2-0 scoreline. What, you, what were your thoughts after it? Without quoting them directly, I heard Jurgen Klopp yesterday saying, you know, you can't blame people for missing chances. People who've been lauded over all season have had fantastic seasons at the front end of the pitch. Um, didn't take the chances that they have done previously. And ultimately, that's the difference between winning and losing the game. I think 2-0 flattered, flattered at the end. Um, disappointed to concede the second goal, but we're obviously disappointed to give away another penalty. So it's lack of discipline in the, in the boxes. Um, and it's something, you know, at the end of the day, we, there's no pressure on me. There's no pressure on the players. It, there hasn't been from inwardly. It's only ever, you know, outside noise that'll, that'll create pressure. But I've said to the players, the shackles are off with the three games. Let's go and have a right good go at the last three games and see what we can get from it. I guess the run we're on at the moment, which isn't great, you can't deny that, but it's one that has been a rarity definitely this season. It's probably mm. maybe the worst one we've had this season. But when you compare it maybe to last season, we were doing this nearly after every victory. So the progress made has mm. been amazing. And it's important to remember that, especially because there's still plenty of time to turn things around. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's about turning things around. I just think it's about getting, you know, the reaction we had against Dorking was excellent after a really poor performance against Maidenhead. The, the reaction we had after the game before Hartlepool was, was good. Like I said, we, we, we dominated the ball, we dominated the game, we, every metric you look at which suggests we should have won the match, but we didn't. Um, but we, we've got to put that, put that aside and move on as quickly as we can to the next game. There's only three left. Um, the lads are coming towards the end of what is a marathon of a race. It's not a sprint, but we just need to try and re-energise Maybe just make a couple of changes, freshen things up a bit, give people opportunities. I mean, it's it's people the people who travelled on uh, Saturday will understand. There's another forty miles to go to to Gateshead, so it's another huge trek for us. Um, but I've said this, I said this at the beginning of the season. I don't want us to be a, a I want us to be a group with no excuses. We don't blame the travelling, we don't blame the sleeping in different beds, we don't you know the schedule. It is what it is. We've got a group of players that we believe in. I believe in. Um, and I firmly believe whatever 11 I pick and the five on the bench will be trying their utmost. And I'm sure that the, the fans who have stayed up there or the ones who are going back up there will understand, win, lose or draw, this group are, are given what they've got. We'll go into Gateshead is hard enough as it is, isn't it? But they'll be buoyed from making their place in at, at Wembley for the FA Trophy final mm -hmm. at the weekend. So congratulations to them, of course. But it doesn't make it any easier for us, does it? No, they're on a good run of form themselves. I think they've got a real identity in the way they play. They're one of the better sides that have visited the EBB this, this season. So, you know, we'll, I keep saying this to you and I sound like a broken record, but there aren't any easy games in this division for whatever reason. You know, teams trying to survive, team, teams tr uh, keeping themselves in the playoffs. Um, and of course, they've got a, they've got a prize now. Right? Their manager's got a real carrot for their players in terms of they must keep their form, otherwise they'll probably not play at Wembley. So, yeah, um, we've got... I don't care about the other teams. I don't care about the teams around us, above us, below us. All I care about is my group. Um, and like I said, I've thought long and hard over the last couple of weeks about one or two players who've had fantastic seasons for us. Um, and they're just getting to the point in this, it, where they they know, they know themselves. They're just on that, getting to the brow of a hill and they, they need to get over it. And it's, I'd rather be in the position I were in this season than the way we were in last when I, when I came to the club. But winning's a habit, losing's a habit. And it's very difficult to, to kick habits. It's as simple as that. And we just got to get back on that, that horse and get a W in the column. And if we got one on Tuesday, I'm, I've got no doubt about that. We can, you know, take it, take a few more points.